why Meghan Markle holds Prince Harry's hand with both arms the royal couple are known for being affectionate ever since they announced their engagement in November 2017. Royal watchers have kept a close eye on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The royal couple, who are now expecting their first child together, have never shied away from showing public displays of affection, often attending royal engagements hand in hand unlike Harry's older brother and sister-in-law, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Although there are no official rules against them making physical contact in public, it seems some members of the royal family avoid being affectionate. However, on more than one occasion, Meghan has used both of her arms to hold Harry's hand. Speaking to Hello! Royal body language expert Juddy James explains that the mum-to-be requires reassurance as she continues to settle in with her new role of being a royal. With her royal role profile firmly established she has adopted a more standalone look either attending events by herself or taking the lead when she is with her husband, she revealed. This hand-in-arm clasp suggests a less secure trait though as she tucks in behind Harry's arm, holding both his hand and placing her free hand on his lower arm, gazing up at him as though seeking attention and or reassurance. Referring to the couple's tour in Morocco, Jetty added, the pose focuses the attention back onto Harry while making him look rather more alpha as he walks ahead with his chest played. However, the hand clasp at their engagement photo call was perhaps a comforting sign for Harry. During their engagement interview Meghan even used her left hand to gently rub Harry's arm in a gesture of reassurance so this pose could be more about boosting his confident profile than her own, continued Juddy. Elsewhere, Prince Harry and Meghan have just returned to London following a three-day tour in Morocco, visiting Casablanca, Asni and Rabat. The royals are set to have a busy schedule ahead of them. Not only are they preparing to welcome their first child this spring, the Sussexes are also relocating to Windsor to move into their new house, Frogmar Cottage. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.